The Lake Oswego Interceptor Sewer is a hundred million dollar project. It's the first buoyant gravity sewer pipeline that we know of in the world. Uh, it's designed to replace a aging, uh, corroding, undersized, seismically at risk pipeline. Uh, the new system is larger, it's flexible, uh, pretty much uh, entirely corrosion resistant and designed to last more than 100 years. Uh, we take very seriously our responsibility for clean water in the community and saw this project as the uh, means to improve water quality in the lake. Collaboration on this project was essential to navigate all of the challenges and surprises and, and little details of implementation that came up every day throughout the project. We had a street sewer project, we had a pump station project, uh, we had a lake full project which is largely marine based off barges, and then we had the lake down project which was a fairly conventional uh, sewer construction, construction only in 20 feet of mud. I don't want to put it in parallel with you know, a space exploration kind of job, but to us in the civil engineering field, it felt like that. It felt like we were working into sort of a new frontier from a scope perspective, and uh, getting our head around that was challenging in the beginning, but exciting at the same time. Probably my most proud moment uh, working in the project was uh, when the lake got drawn down and we were able to see the entire buoyant system floating on top of the lake. And I just remember thinking, wow, it's actually there, it's, it's working, you know, water uh, sewage is actually flowing through the pipe and it looks beautiful. And that was, uh, that was probably the most memorable moment for me. A major infrastructure project was completed through an extremely densely populated area with minimal impact to most of the people who live there. And I think that's a huge success. I've been involved in several large multi-million dollar projects before, but uh, this one went quite smoothly and I, I would attribute a lot of that to the cooperation and, uh, and expertise from, from the city's project director the uh, Lake Corporation, our engineering staff at Brown and Caldwell. We had a weekly Tuesday meeting for two years and um, uh, frequent involvement with our, our subs and communicating with them all the time, often having them over for those meetings. Uh, the client was engaged and here all the time engaged in those meetings. As we would get phone calls and concerns expressed by the public, it was great to have Brown and Caldwell right here so we could interact with them and get those issues solved in a timely manner. And fortunately, Brown and Caldwell has the same concern about customer service that we do. Very important to me is to have trust in the engineers that we hire and uh, Brown and Caldwell turned out to be, uh, again, very trustworthy, very competent, uh, and just a great partner to have on the project. 